Good morning to I Pray Experience. We are so glad that you are here. We thank you for watching now, and we also thank you for watching later. We believe when we pray that our prayers are effective anytime, all the time, as long as we go to the Lord, He will hear our prayers. So as I was praying uh, last night when Natalie asked me if I would do this, uh, right away the Lord said, Household Salvation. We will be praying today about household salvation because everybody wants their loved ones saved, their children, their father, their mother, their uh, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, cousins, all the way around. We want our family saved. And also, so we're excited about that, uh, to be praying about that. But uh, we're, we're going to start off with Thanksgiving. The Bible says to enter his courts with thanksgiving and praise. So we're just going to thank him. I'm going to read this Psalm, Psalms 36. This is what he's put in my heart because this is who the Lord our God is. Psalms 36. Lord, we praise you. We give you glory and honor starting at verse 5. Your love, Lord, reaches to the heavens. Your faithfulness to the skies. Your righteousness is like the highest mountains. Your justice like the great deep. You, Lord, preserve both people and animals. How priceless is your unfailing love, O oh God. People take refuge in the, in the shadow of your wings. And Father, today we take refuge in the shadow of your wings. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you have called us to pray for household salvation, Lord, just like Cornelius, and we will read that scripture, uh, Cornelius household, Father God, they got saved, they got filled with the Spirit, Lord, and then they were baptized, Father. We thank you, we give you glory, Father, and we give you honor, because, Father, all of it is yours, Lord, and Lord, in verse 8, it says, they feast on the abundance of your house. You give them drink from the, your river of delight. For with you is the fountain of light. In your light, we see light. We bless you, Father, and we magnify your name. Continue your love to those you know. You, your righteousness to the upright in heart. May the foot of the proud not come against me. Now the hand of the wicked drive me away. See how the evildoers lie fallen, throwing down, not able to rise. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. This is something my husband and I pray every day. Lord, in the name of Jesus, nor the hand of the wicked drive me away. Father, we pray for all of those that are uh, keep evil from our families, keep evil people from our families, Lord, in the name of Jesus, from our children, Father God, from our spouses, Father, and Lord, uh, um, uh, our children, grandchildren, all, everybody who is our family, keep evil from us this day in the name of Jesus. In, um, I wanted to start off with, um, it's a, we cannot grow weary in well-doing. Uh, in a book that I've been uh, reading, Supernatural Communications, uh, the, the author says this, there is going to be a harvest from your prayers every place where you have so in your prayers, especially with tears, the harvest is going to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you want to pray in prayer? Sure, Father. You know, I pray I get the <laughs> tears all the time. And I know the author of that book, too. <laughs> Father, I just thank you and Hallelujah. I praise you that you are the one who does hear and answer our prayer. And we know, Lord, that our labor in you is not in vain. And so today, Father, I want to come before you on behalf of uh, those who do not know you, we do want to see household salvation. We want to see whole families come to the yes. saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And Lord, even as, as the scripture was read earlier, that in your light we see light. Lord, I pray that we as a body of Christ would be those who are the carriers of yes. that light. Go out and share that light in our city, in our, in our community, in our homes, so that in our family, Lord God, uh, they will see the light and they will see that you are that light and yes. they will they will want the light. They will want to, to be in the light as you, you're in the light. As you said, if we are in the light as you're in the light, we have 
fellowship with one yeah, another. Hallelujah. And the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. And Lord, I'm asking right now in Jesus' name, we're asking right now that we see uh, in, ho- in households, whole households yes, come to hallelujah. the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that you will equip uh, hu- husbands to how to lead their families, yes. how to lead their, their wives, how to lead their children, mothers to lead their children children in, 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 in knowing you and loving you. We pray, oh God, for whole households to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Lord, now is the time as we see whole households uh, being challenged by inflation and, and all kinds of things. We ask, oh God, that they yes. see that you yes. are the answer yes. to every challenge that we face and that they open their hearts to you and they give their hearts to you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And Father, we thank you that in your word, Isaiah 10, 27, it says, it shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from you, from your shoulders and his yoke from your neck and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil we thank you father god for household salvation that lord that you are the destroyer father god you destroy the yoke of the enemy those uh, family members that are saved but Father God are not on fire. Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus, they are a body in the body of Christ. We we declare they're important. We declare that they are needed and we declare that they are loved and that would go, Father God, and resonate in their spirit and their soul, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father God, that you are destroying the yoke off of them, Father, that they would be on fire, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And that which they have gone through in these three years of this, uh, of, of, uh, we're just going to say that they were on hold, but Lord, you will bring to pass the things that should have happened, Lord, for the families, Father, that fire would be ignited in them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And as fire is ignited, Lord, they will walk in their calling, love, Father, in the family, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, because it is you that has put the family together, Lord. It is you that draws them together, Lord, just as the household of Cornelius. Hallelujah. That's right. And Lord, even with the household of Cornelius, you sent Peter there. Yes. You sent him there with the word. You sent him there to demonstrate your power. You sent him there to demonstrate your love. You sent him there because you saw Cornelius' heart. You saw that he had he had a good heart. He was a good man. He always gave. Lord, his alms came to you, came up to you. Yes. His giving was, you were reminded of his giving. And so you sent someone there to show him true giving yes. that comes from you. To receive a gift that no one else could give but you. And we thank you, Lord God, that his whole household, the scripture tells us, everyone there was born again. Yes. They were filled with the Holy yes. Spirit. And Lord, we believe, I believe that from that day, they went on to serve you with such power and anointing. Hallelujah. And so we pray in the name of Jesus that this will be replicated over and over again. We know that in our city here, we have many religious people. And they do religious things. But Lord, we pray <clears throat> that they come out of religion and they come into relationship. Yeah. Relationship with you, the living God. The one who is a friend uh, to, to those who need a friend. A friend that sticks closer than a brother. That's who you are, Lord Jesus. And we pray that those who are caught in religion will see the friendship that they can have with you. That you are a personal God. That you know us intimately and in, de- in every detailed way. And so we thank you, we praise you, oh God, for many coming to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And we bless you for it in our city. Let it happen, oh God. Whole households coming to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. And Father, your word says in Acts 10, uh, verse 10, He became hungry and wanted something to eat. And while the meal was being prepared, he fell into a trance. He saw heaven opened and something like a large sheet being let down to the earth by its four corners. It contained all kinds of four-footed animals as well as reptiles and birds. Then the voice told him, get up, Peter, kill and eat. Mm -hmm. Father, we know that you said this more times to Peter, to get up, kill and eat. And he said, no, Lord, I have never eaten anything unpure or unclean. 
But again, your voice spoke to him and said, get up, Father, eat and don't call anything um, unclean or impure. And Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus for those that are believing for their household salvation, that they will not call those people that they are believing to come into the kingdom or to be lit up again by your spirit unpure or unclean father but they would speak as you speak and yes. see them as you speak father and you see them as uh so you see them saved you see them filled with your spirit you see them walking in the calling that you have called them may we as a church not speak or say anything unpure about them but only speak what you have spoken and we thank you that in Isaiah 10 and 27, it is you that is destroying the yoke of bondage off of even the fruit of our lips that would try to come out impure. We speak holiness and we speak purity in the name of Jesus because we see them, the unsaved, and those that you're relighting their fire in the name of Jesus, whole in Jesus' name. Yes. Father, you say in your word that they that wins souls is wise. <clears throat> so I'm asking you for the wisdom of God upon your church that we would know how, we would have the wisdom to know how to minister to our families. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lord, unfortunately, many of us go through a process where we think wrongly about this and we approach it the wrong way and our families have said to be the hardest people in the world for us to win. And it's because they know us. They knew us before we knew you. And so, Father, I pray that in that context, we will recognize that we as a body of Christ, we have to have such a pure, yes. such an untainted yes. life with you. Hallelujah. So that, Lord, when we approach our family members, they will see what you have done in our lives that our lives itself will be the witness of your power and your love and your salvation, the ability to save. Lord, we pray in Jesus' name that we'll have such a genuine walk with you and such a, a natural, relatable walk with you that that in and of itself will speak to our family members. It will not be hard in that sense because they will see the change that you have wrought in our lives. And, and they will hunger for you. They will cry out for you. And like it was for Cornelius, his friends gathered. Yes, they wanted yes. you. And so we pray, oh God, that our family members will cry out, what must I do to be saved? What must I do to have what you have? Who do you know? I want to know who you know. And I pray that they will see, Lord, that salvation is not just going to heaven, but it's life on earth with you. It's a walk with you. Lord, you are our life. And as the scripture says, apart from you, we know nothing. We are nothing. And I pray, oh God, that that pure reality will be manifested and shown by us, the people of God, to our family members. So that they would want to know you. Oh God, we can't make anybody be born again. But Lord, you can draw yes, us by your yes. spirit. And so we're asking, oh God, that you will cause us to live the kinds of lives that cause our family members to want who you are, to want you. And we thank you for doing that in Jesus' name. Yes, Father, I just thank you, Lord, for this promise, Lord, that you've given us that our whole household shall be saved, Lord. Mm. That as we um, come before you, that that's our heritage yes. and our inheritance, Lord, uh, that is being <laughs> promised to us. And for our sons and daughters and their children's children, Lord, that is a promise. And we stand on that word. And so with that understanding, Lord, we know and we have the confidence that we don't have to come from a place of, of uh, works mentality or judgment or, um, you know, striving. Lord, right. we just come from a place of love yes. and modeling out who you are in That's our right. own lives, That's Lord. Right. And That's that right. that... Um, spirit of love and purity and authentic uh, community community and coming from a place of, of loving you and loving our your our family Lord that that will bring your spirit Lord and bring Hallelujah. your 
life and that will bring the mo the motives of our heart will be re revealed lord and it will be um beautiful to our family lord yes, oh God. and that's where we want to come from so i pray lord that our lives would represent that and that we would not come from a place of fear and anxiety because we see um things happening in our and our loved ones and we 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 become fearful and Lord, we just rest in your peace and we rest in your promises. We rest in who you are, Lord, that was just spoken, Lord. We want to align our words with how you see our loved ones already um, worked out, Lord, in their salvation. It's already been done because that's a promise. So that's how we want to approach our loved ones, Lord. And I pray that we would rest and cease from our own works and our own fears and uh, you do the work lord you go before and cleanse and pre prepare the way for our loved ones however that comes to be lord through relationships through your spirit and bringing conviction lord we rest in that promise yes we do Amen. we do oh god father thank you for many coming to the sending lord of jesus christ Thank you, Lord, for the times in which we're living. I pray, Lord, even the difficulties of the times in which we're living would be use of you to draw whole families to you. Yes. I pray that families will come begin praying together, even yes. when they don't know. Even the people in the family do not know you. Yes. We pray that the leader of the family, the one who does know you, yes. will begin to treat his family, <clears throat> his or her family members, <clears throat> as if they are born again. Yes. And they will be receive it in that respect. And we pray, oh God, that um, they will have times together where they praise you, where they worship you, where they yes. search your word together, Lord. You will you will give uh, the saved ones in the family creative ways to draw the family members to you. We ask, oh God, that you do this. We ask, oh God, yes. that in these in these tumultuous days that we're living in, Lord God, that the the home really be a place of of sanctuary, of refuge, a place of peace, a place of joy. And for those who, who do not know you, that they will see that it's because of you that they have this home life that can be full of peace and full of joy. And we pray, oh God, that you will use all of that to draw whole households to you in Jesus' name. And Father, I uh, keep praying what Nat, uh, Natalie was saying, that as families come together, Lord, even if they don't see eye to eye, Father, that, Lord, the joy of the Lord will be their strength. Mm -hmm. For those that are saved, the joy of the Lord will be yes. their strength. And that, Father, that they would laugh together. Mm -hmm. That they would laugh together. Mm -hmm. Because when they laugh, Father God, it brings such unity, Father. That they would do little things like play games together, mm -hmm. Father God. And unity where there's unity there is strength lord in the name of jesus yeah. and the father that we would not and the families of believers would not uh, galatians 6 and 9 let us not become weary in doing good yeah. for at the proper time we will reap a harvest yeah. if we do not give up That's right. and in uh, and we thank you father god as we're having fun lord Father, let our thoughts be good. Let our thoughts remain on you as we have joy and as we have unity in the family, Father God. Um, and even the siblings or the family members, we don't always get to see, Lord. But when we do get to see them, may our joy be filled, Father, in the yes. name of Jesus, that, Lord, your spirit would draw them by your loving kindness, Lord, and that we will not grow weary nor complain, Father, that we would see you high and lifted up. And at that time, Father God, as you reveal to us the saints how to pray for them as we spend time to them, Lord, we will pray for them. We will say exactly what you say, Father, and believe exactly what you believe. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we thank you for the angel armies that are being uh, released to them, Father, even chariots of armies, Father, that are being released, Father, to the families, Lord, in San Antonio, Father, in the name of Jesus, 
because we are believing for this great harvest here in San Antonio, Texas, Father. We thank you, Father, for household salvation. And we choose, we choose not to give up in the name of Jesus. Oh, Hallelujah. Father, I do pray, I pray for uh, you to send people to family members. Lord, yes. It's not just us winning our family members, but Lord, you see our family members. You see where they are. Yes. And we ask, oh God, that you would help us to win them to you by sending people to them, yes. to speak to them, to, to draw them to you, Lord God. We, it, it, takes, it takes many of us sowing seeds. And I pray, Lord, that you give us patience and long-suffering toward our family members mm -hmm. so that, Lord, uh, we will not try to rush anything, but that we give them time. We know that there's a time and a place for every activity under heaven. There was a day when we came to know you, when we did not know you before that day, but Lord, as we look back, we know that you were working in our lives. We can see that you were working in our lives. And so we pray that you'll begin to work in the lives of our family members that do not know you. And that, Lord, they will have that conviction of the Holy Spirit come upon them, just like it came upon us. And they will know that they must cry out to you to be saved. What must I do to be saved? We pray, oh God, for that long suffering, that patience to be in our hearts as we're ministering to our family members. And we pray, oh God, that you will help us to, to maintain that love and that joy towards our family members despite the fact that they do not know you. We pray, oh God, that, that, that the fact that they do not know you will not be a barrier, but that will be that which you use to cause us to love them even more. Yes. Because that is your love that draws. It's your love that draws people out of darkness into the glorious light of your kingdom. And so we ask, oh God, for your anointing, your long suffering, your long suffering to be upon your people as we are ministering to our family members. It is your long suffering. And so we thank you and praise you for that in Jesus' name. Lord, continue to, to draw to yourself those in our family members that are, are called to be yours. Lord, according to the scriptures, you know everyone that's going to say yes to you. You know every single one who will receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And so we thank you and we praise you, oh God, for sending others to them, to whisper to them, to lead them into the way, to lead them out of darkness into light. Lord, we don't necessarily have to be the one, but we just want them saved. And so we ask, oh God, that you will help us by sending other people to them to speak to their lives so that we can say, yes, our entire household has been saved. Lord, you said Peter. You said Peter to Cornelius and his family yes. and friends. It wasn't Cornelius, but you said yes. Peter there. So we said, send someone else to our yes. family yes. members, oh God. And we thank you for doing that in Jesus' name. Lord, I just I thank you. Your word says that you are the bread of heaven. Yes. And that this bread which comes down from heaven, that one may eat of it and not die. And Lord, you are the living bread. Mm. So I just pray, Lord, for those that are struggling in their faith and their understanding of who you are. And I'm especially speaking in, in San Antonio, Lord, the, the, the all the Catholicism and the uh, such a, a large amount of um, Catholics here, Lord, that may be struggling with their relationship with Jesus, that understanding of who you are in their lives, Lord, that it's not a religion, it's not um, a formula or just coming to Mass, but Lord, it's a relationship with yes, you. Yes. So I ask, Lord, you, the bread of heaven would meet them, even in their times of, of how they come to mass lord you still can meet them those their hearts are open they're hungry for you lord i pray that you would open their hearts and their minds lord and that they would have a true understanding of your love for them and that you desire to have a relationship with them yes yes lord god and father in the name of jesus father we pray that um that you people that would choose to forgive because you forgave us. When we see people, that we would have a great compassion for them and that we would carry God's love, compassion, trust, forgiveness, and peace and not carry arrogance, hate, gossip, etc. Because Father, you, we have been made pure by your redeeming blood. 
Your word says in Ecclesiastes 5 and 19, Moreover, when God gives someone wealth and possessions and the ability to enjoy them, to accept their lot and be happy in their toil, this is a gift of God. They seldom reflect on the days of their life because God keeps them occupied with gladness of heart. Father, may we reflect on the goodness of your of your blood, on the goodness of your mercy, on your goodness. May we reflect and when we see people, when we see our families, have compassion and not join in in any gossip, Father, but have compassion and love, Father, and that, uh, Lord, and that we will not think of ourselves more highly of ourselves than we ought, Lord. And we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that we choose your word, that we would seldom reflect on the days of our life because you keep us occupied with gladness of heart. We know those that are coming in will see the gladness of heart in us. And as we walk with gladness of heart, that's because heaven and earth have met us. And it is your true love of salvation that goes forth. And as you go forth by your spirit, Lord, it is, Father God, you by your spirit that removes hate, that removes shame, that removes the disgust, Father. It is your spirit that comes and brings holiness and pureness. Mm -hmm. And Father, just as my sister was praying, even about the Catholics and even the Baptists and, and all those other religions, Father, Lord, may we be one. We all believe that our families will have a household salvation because of your love. Connect us with them, Father, with the gladness of heart that you have given us, Father, mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. When we see one, may we walk by your Spirit. When we see a person someplace where maybe their mother or father has been praying for them, may we as the body be in tune to your Spirit. And you say go to them and encourage them. Let us do that. Just like that one time when you sent me the Jack in the Box and you said, that young man, his mother's been praying for him. Ask, tell him to go home. And he looked at me and he said, it's true. And Father, I was sowing seed for my own children and all my children are saved. And Father, we thank you for gladness of heart, Lord, that people would see it in us because of your spirit. Yes, oh God. Father, thank you for the way you do this, the way you draw us to yourself to use other people, even as Kathy has said, Lord, that's why I'm asking for you to continue to send people into our household, yes. to minister to our family members yes. and our extended family members, Lord, yes. uh, to minister to them wherever they are, in their weakness or in their unbelief, wherever they are, we ask, oh God, for you to send people to them with the love of God, with the word of God, with the anointing of God upon their lives, yes. and Lord, as they speak to our family members, something supernatural will happen, Lord. Yes. It is supernatural. Yes. The transaction that comes from you to another person, yes. it is supernatural. Lord, I'm asking in the name of Jesus that Jesus. that supernatural miracle takes place over yes. and over again. Uh, the greatest miracle is a, is a changed life. Yes. And Lord, we're asking to see that miracle in our households, in yes. our family members, in our extended family members, oh God, that Christ none will be left out no no none will have no will not have the opportunity oh god to to know you as their father as their friend as their savior as their deliverer as the one who strengthens them lord god we ask oh god that they know you in the fullness of who you are and that only happens when they see jesus for who he really is and so we ask oh god that they understand, that their, their hearts be open, the door of their understanding, the eyes of their understanding be enlightened to see Jesus Christ for who he really is. Yes. And Lord, they need that because unfortunately his name is taken in vain in our society all the time. And so we ask, oh God, that the supernatural work of God begins to peel back all of that lies, all those deceptions, all of those things that have been pummeled on our people, on our family members. That, Lord, they are able to see past all of that. And they see the depth of your love for them. Mm -hmm. And that everything in their heart cries out, yes, I want you. Lord, there's, no, there's a reason you are called the desire of the nations. 
the desire of all, of all nations because of who you are. And Lord, our family members are in that phrase. You're the desire of the nations. You are, you are in the desire of their, of their hearts. They may not know it yet. But Lord, we pray that that soft part in their hearts is touched by someone that you send. And as that part is uh, touched by you, that Lord God, uh, you will wait, awaken them to cry out, what must I do to be saved? I want to know you. I want to be saved. That Lord, they will have that humility that comes upon them, comes upon, that came upon all of us. And we definitely confessed our sins. We said, we asked you to forgive us of our sins and to yeah. cleanse us of all unrighteousness. We asked you to do that. Because we saw who you are. We saw our utter need for you. And I'm asking, we're asking, oh God, <clears throat> that our family members, our unsaved family members will go through that same entire supernatural process of dying to self and being awakened to our need for you. And we thank you for doing that in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that you reverse the years. Hallelujah. Yeah. You reverse the years, Lord, that the temple one has stayed. You reverse the years, the years of my age, to an old age with you, as in Psalms 103. Father God, we need to experience your goodness, the goodness of God on a daily basis. And I pray that our loved ones would see the goodness of God in us. And that, Lord, that we will not walk through by our emotions, Father, in the name of Jesus. And um, when we rise, we will have a song in our heart. When we rise, we will give thanks to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Because it is... Uh, when they have hate in their heart but see your goodness no matter the way that they treat us but that in Father that we would press through with your goodness and not grow weary of well doing Father in the name of Jesus Father so I proclaim that we would experience your goodness every day, Father, every day, and they would see your goodness on us in the name of Jesus. Lord, you know, as we're approaching Easter, we know that Good Friday is coming, and is just the remembering, Lord, of how good you are, Lord, in our lives, remembering um, the days when we first came to you, remembering, Lord, that you are faithful in all things, remembering that you have delivered us and that you have saved us, that you have protected us. Lord, remembering that you have reached out to our family members and seeing the good that you have done in our family's lives, Lord. Lord, I just pray we will reflect on the goodness of the Lord and um, that you would prepare our hearts for something special this Easter, Lord. Mm. Just prepare our hearts, Lord, to receive and to give back, Lord, to give back to um, those that we care about, those that we love, those that are in our circle of influence, Lord, that we would be um, life givers, Lord, that we would uh, represent your heart in this season, Lord, and and that we would give back to the community, Lord, as we're getting poured into from your spirit. And I just pray, Lord, that that as this we're coming into this Easter season, Lord, of the resurrection of all yes. that you've done yes. for us, Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, that um, that we would reach those that are feeling lonely, that maybe feel isolated, that feel um, fearful because of the uh, what our nation is going through, what our world is going through. Lord, I pray this would be a celebration of your life mm -hmm. and it would bring great <coughs> joy yeah. uh, to our lives, Lord, that we would be released into the spirit of joy, that you would take off any spirit of heaviness, Lord. 
anyone that's stressed and feeling overwhelmed in their circumstances, Lord, you would break off that spirit of heaviness, Lord, and walk. we would receive all celebration of life that you have for us. Yes. Father, even as um, Becky was praying, it was sort of having like a flashback of as a child going, walking to church on Easter mm -hmm. Sunday and Palm Sunday and that whole time period that we're in now. Yes. And Lord, I'm praying right now that um, whole families yes. will go to church. Yes. Just because it's Easter, just because it's Resurrection yes. Sunday. Yes. But Lord, as they go, I pray that your yes. anointing will be in that church. Yes. Your presence will be in that church. Mm -hmm. And your anointing will be upon the preach word in that church on that day. Mm -hmm. And that Lord God, as it is so, that every family member will be touched by your yes. spirit. And Lord, all the prayers for unsaved family members will be fulfilled that day. That Lord God, unsaved family members will come face to face with you that day. Yeah. They will come to recognize that what the, the stories that they've heard about you all their lives, what it really means. It's not just a story, it's a real thing that happened by a real God who really loved them. And we pray, oh God, that their hearts will be open to you. Their hearts will be yeah. open to you in a real and definitive way. And that Lord, they will say, Yes, I want to know you. And that will be a, a there will be a day of salvation for them. And we pray for that to happen all over our city in church after church as people are going to churches, maybe for religious activity. But Lord, we pray they will come into the reality of life with you when they walk into any particular church on that day and they will come into the fulfillment of the prayers of their family members. Oh God, that they will they will be born again. We ask, oh God, for you to do that. We ask, oh God, that they will be born again yes. on this Easter Sunday morning in San Antonio in yes. Jesus' name. Acts 10 and 44, just as Natalie was praying, while Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit came on all who yes. heard the message. Yes. We believe as they attend together unity, we believe that the Holy Spirit, Father God, will fall on all of them. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astonished that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles, for they heard them speaking in tongues yes. and praising God. Then Peter said, Surely no one can stand in the way of being baptized with water. They have received the Holy Spirit just as we have. So he ordered that they may be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they asked Peter to stay with them a few days. We believe this, Father God. Mm -hmm. We believe this in the name of Jesus. We proclaim it in the atmosphere, Father, as we are in agreement, Father. Those watching, those that are here, we are in agreement, Father. Household salvation, we are in agreement. The yes. Holy Spirit will fall on them. We are in agreement in the name of Jesus that mm -hmm. the angel armies will bring them to a place where they need to be in the, as servants of the Lord and as servants to help us in the name of Jesus mm -hmm. to a place to hear. And it, Holy Spirit, we thank you that as people gather, gladness of heart will be in the atmosphere. Yes. And as that gladness of heart is in the atmosphere, mm -hmm. Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. Father, for household salvation. Even on the youngest mm -hmm. there, Hallelujah. they will yes. be filled with your yes. spirit. The youngest yes. will say, I want Jesus. And the parents will be touched, Father. And the older siblings and maybe the aunts and uncles, whoever is there, Father, will be touched and say yes because your anointing destroys the yoke of bondage Hallelujah. it destroys it and we believe your word today as we come into agreement in jesus Hallelujah. name Hallelujah. Father, you said even a child shall be yes them. Lord, we say yes you can even reach the smallest children yes. and our family members and you can cause them to say the, the one thing that causes other family members to say what what's that and it draws them to you. Lord, we ask that you do that. Lord, you said even a child shall leave them. 
And Lord, we thank you and we praise you for that. We pray that that happens in our, in our family members and families all over our city. We ask, oh God, that you would mark this year, yes, 2022, yes. mark Maybe this year are. as a year of salvation, for uh, fulfillment yeah. of many, many years of prayer for, for others. For many, they've been praying Maybe for years for their family members. Lord. We pray that this would be Maybe the year. Yes. This would be the year where those prayers are answered. This would be the year where they see their family Maybe members Lord. come yeah. to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Praise this you. would be the year Woo. of salvation. Celebration. Yeah, yeah. We we pray that the sound yeah. of celebration rise in the city of San Antonio, and celebrating Ooh, the salvation yeah. of family yeah. members that we have long prayed for yeah. and we've cried out for for many many years. We pray that you will do that in San Antonio this year yeah. in 2022. <laughs> oh God, we say this is the year. This is the time. Yeah. This is the day yeah. for salvation for Hallelujah. many many in Jesus' name. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Indeed. Hallelujah. Acts 10 to it says he and all his family were devout and God fearing he gave generously to those in need and prayed to God regularly we thank you father God for all the families that are devout to you and God fearing that father maybe they're lacking something but we believe that they will be filled with your spirit father we believe father God in the name of Jesus just like the angel came to Cornelius, Father God, you're doing that with the families that have been believing, Lord, in the name of Jesus. The gap, Father, the gap that has not been filled, Father, you're filling that gap in the name of Jesus with your presence, with your destroying yoke, Father, in the name of Jesus. You are destroying the yoke of bondage in Jesus' name, that mm -hmm. blind eyes will see, that deaf ears will hear, hear, and wholeness and health will come this day, Father, as we're praying and this Easter season, because mm -hmm. it all comes together, it all goes together. Household salvation, health, healing, everything that they need will be given to them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I just thank you for your word that says that you are the good shepherd mm -hmm. and that you know your sheep yes. and you know them by name, Lord. And even it says, as the Father knows me, even so I know the Father and I lay down my life for the sheep and other sheep I have, yes. which are not of this fold, them also I must bring and they will hear my voice. And there will be one flock and one shepherd. So that is a promise, Lord, for those that don't know you still, that, that they will hear your voice, that you are the good shepherd, Lord, and that you go after that one, Lord. You are faithful, Father. You are faithful to bring in those that, that are called by your name, and we are all your children, Lord. There is not one that you don't know. You know every hair on their head. And so, Lord, we just proclaim and say they will hear your voice, just like Samuel. Yes. Lord, in the days of old, when he kept hearing you call, Lord, he finally answered and said, Here am I, Lord. And I just pray, Lord, that, that there will be that time when finally, Lord, that one will say, Here I am, I, I'm listening. I'm hearing your voice, and they will respond, Lord. Mm -hmm. Because we are standing in the gap this morning. We are praying for those that have lost their way that those that have once known you those that um never heard of you lord but that they are they are looking lord they're looking in places that they don't belong they're looking in places of, of um addiction they're looking in places of, of fulfillment lord but lord you draw them by your spirit because you are the good shepherd mm -hmm. and so i just pray lord that um, there will be a turning, Lord. There will be a turning that they will hear you, Lord. Yeah. And Lord, I want to thank you that that is true. <clears throat> and I pray because it is true that you will cause us as your as your church mm -hmm. to, to be those who will not grow weary, yes. that we will not mm -hmm. give up. Yes. But we know that you died for all of us. You sent your son for all of us. Yes. And there is an appointed time for everyone. And we pray, oh God, in Jesus' name, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. that we will not give up, that we will be those who are like the importunate with the widow who continue to pray out and and cry out until you, till the judge gave her, the unjust judge gave her what she asked for. Lord, you are not an unjust judge, but you will give us what we've asked for. So I pray for that same tenacity and importunity, if you will, to be upon the church. As we pray for our family members, that, Lord, we will trust you despite we, despite what we see with our natural eye. Lord, you, you have said to us that we are not to lean to our own understanding, not to lean to what we can see and touch in the natural world. And we just pray, oh, God, that we will see with the eyes of the Spirit, with your eyes. Yes. See our family members with your eyes. And have the same kind of long-suffering toward them mm-hmm. that you have toward you had toward us that you continue to have towards us because, Lord, we're not where we should be. We're all dying daily. We're all becoming who you've called us to be, step by step, day by day, moment by moment. And we ask the same upon us towards our family members, that, Lord, we will have have that same kind of love and patience towards them that you have had towards us. And that, Lord God, will demonstrate who you are in doing that. And that, Lord, as they come to salvation, they will recognize that they have been recipients of your your steadfast and long-suffering love through us. We thank you. We praise you for that. We thank you, Lord God, for uh, empowering us as the church to love our families to the point of salvation. Not holding against them what we know is in their lives and their past. But that, Lord, despite that, calling them to know you and loving them to the point that they will come to know you. Mm. And we thank you, we praise you for doing that in our hearts. Because as you do that in our hearts, you're going to do something in the hearts of our family members. Mm. And, Lord, we see that that is connected. Mm. It is connected. And so we thank you and we praise you, Lord God, for for working a work in us Mm. as we pray for our family members. Because we see these things are interconnected. We thank you, Lord God, for our family members coming to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Cause us to not give up. Cause us to be those who are tenacious. Cause us to, those, to be those who, having done all, we will continue to, to stand. Knowing, oh God, that you are with us. That you desire for every person to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Our family members included. In Jesus' name. Father, Psalms 37 and 1 says... Do not fret, help us not to fret in Jesus' name, because of those who are evil, or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Like green plants, they will soon die away. Your word says, trust in the Lord and do good. May we do good, Father, to those around us, Father, as We've been praying, Lord, not looking at the circumstance, not growing weary, but continuing to do good because you are a good God. And we see your goodness in the land of the living always. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Help us to enjoy safe pasture, Father, as we believe for our loved ones, as we believe for our extended family, Father, in the name of Jesus. You've given us the promise that our household salvation, you've given us the promise, Father, in the name of Jesus. I believe, Father God, in Jesus' name, as I pray for my family continuously and grandchildren, that for the generations I will never see here on earth, Father. But I believe in Jesus' name as we continue to pray, Father God, that, Lord, they will be called of you. They will hear your voice. They will say yes to you. They will walk in their callings, fulfill their purpose until the day of Christ Jesus when he comes back. Whether we see it or not, we pray for the generations now and to come household salvation father lord that you would remember in the name of jesus father that you would remember our prayers even to the family members that we will never see in the name of jesus father we thank you we trust in the lord and we choose to do good Mm -hmm. we dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture we take delight in you lord and you will give us the desires of our heart in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,
by the I was reminded about the scripture you talked about the house of houses of peace. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and you were sending out the the um, the, the uh, apostles of old, early evangelists, and told them to step out and stay in the house of peace. Mm-hmm. Lord, I pray that these households, our family members, will come to know you, that our homes become houses of peace. Mm-hmm. Houses of peace to those on the outside come in, but also houses of peace for those on the inside. Lord God, that no one be let no one be left out of this, yeah. because Lord, you want everyone to be saved. We ask, oh God, in Jesus' name, for you to work your perfect work, for you to give wisdom and insight to us and how to win our family members. We ask, oh God, if there are areas within us mm-hmm. that we need to confess to you, for you to break yes, them off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And will enable us to win our family members. We say, oh God, work your perfect work in us. Yes. Enable us, oh God, to be used of you to win the, the ones that's hardest for us to win. And as our own family members, oh God, we ask, oh God, that they truly come to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Not as a formula, not as a, a, a religion, but in a personal relationship with you. Yes. That they hunger and they thirst for you. We ask, oh God, that you do that in Jesus' name. Lord, you said blessed are the peacemakers. That's right. And so, Lord, we want to be the peacemakers of our families, Lord. We want to be that light and that hope and not stirring up um, anxiety and fear and stirring up gossip and stirring up all that, Lord. But we want to be the peacemakers (coughs) that you've called us to be. Because we're coming from a place of joy, understanding, and wisdom to know, Lord, you have our family, that you've got them, that you are for us, not against us. And so when we have that understanding, Lord, we can walk in that peace. Yes. We can walk in that assurity that you, we are in your goodness, Lord, and we live in the land of goodness. And so, Lord, I thank you that we have that confidence. I thank you, Lord, that your word says to rejoice in all things, in all circumstances, Lord. Even when we don't see uh, things working out the way we think they should, Lord, we're going to stand in that rejoicing because we have that understanding and we know, Lord, that you go before us, behind us, above us, below us, Lord, you are for us, that you are for our family, and that, Lord, we have that confidence that we we um that the enemy has no place in our families that we stand we we um rebuke all powers and authorities that would try to come against our family members to receive the message of christ and love and um you've given us that authority lord and so that's why we're standing here today believing and knowing that lord you your uh going before us and making a way that seems like there is no way. Mm. Yeah, that's right. But even to that point, I'm reminded again of how we've been praying earlier uh, regarding uh, household salvation in in the context of Peter ministering to the Cornish and his household. And Lord, you spoke to him in a a remarkable way. Mm -hmm. You gave him a vision. Mm -hmm. And you put down before him in this vision foods, Mm -hmm. animals, that the religious community knew some of them were considered unclean. And he said, no, I will not kill any that because it's unclean. But Lord, you said, do not call unclean what I call clean. Yeah, that's right. So Lord, I pray with that same understanding that we will not judge you wrongly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People in our families because they have done certain things or not done certain things. Right. But to know, oh God, that Lord, you said that you love everyone the same. Mm-hmm. Everyone is the same in, in terms of your love for us. And Lord, I pray that with all of that understanding, we will look past yes. whatever horrific or terrible things our family members may have done or whatever it is yeah. that we have held against them, that we will not call unclean that which you call clean. Yes. And understanding all of that, we will be used of you to speak into their lives in such a way their heart, though hardened, may become softened, and they will want you. Lord, I pray, I pray in Jesus' name that you will do this, that you will begin to do something so remarkable in the household in our city, that we'll have 
whole families come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. So Lord, I think that's of particular importance in this city because there's a, a family thing yes. in San Antonio. Yes. Lord, there's families. Yes. This is a city of family. Yes. And we ask, oh God, that <clears throat> that will be something that is modeled in our city, that this is a city of homes, of families, and whole families come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, yes. and they serve him together. Yes. Lord, I ask that you mark San Antonio with this. It is clear that you marked us with families. We're different from Austin. We're yes. different from other cities yes. because of the family thing that is here. The spirit of family is here. Yes. And I ask, oh God, that we've all become a part of the family yeah. of God yeah. in the city of San Antonio because of what you are doing yeah. by your spirit. Lord, we call it done in Jesus' name. Jesus. Father, uh, Psalms 31 and 1 says, In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Mm -hmm. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Father, we thank you that we can do these things because of the righteousness of Christ. Mm -hmm. We thank you that we could rise up and call our family blessed because yeah. of the righteousness of Christ. And because, Father, the household salvations, the blood of Jesus that is on us, you hear it because of the righteousness of Christ Jesus. Yes. And, Father, we ask you that you would turn your ear to me. It says in verse 2, come quickly to my rescue. Be my rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. Since you are my rock and my fortress, for the sake of your name, lead and guide me. Keep me free from the trap that is set for me. Mm. For you are my refuge. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Deliver me, Lord, my faithful God. Father, deliver us from ourself. In the name of Jesus, deliver us from ourself. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us from temptation and we continue to walk in love and as we are in agreement not grow weary and well-doing we have so much to look forward to because of the righteousness of Christ in the name of Jesus hallelujah well we have a few minutes here and um, Natalie would you like to is there anything else you'd like to say for our evening story? Uh, no, but I would just want to say thank you, Kathy, for leading yeah. us in prayer today. And thank you, Holy Spirit, for leading us in prayer yeah. today. Thank you for the spirit of prayer in this place. Lord, continue to pour out yeah. your spirit upon us. Continue to anoint us to pray the prayers that are on your heart mm -hmm. and causes your will to be done in our city and through our city. Lord, we recognize that we're in a, an amazing time here in San Antonio. Yeah. We're at a time, actually, it's the first time in years we've had an actual fiesta time. Yeah. Yes. And so we're in the middle of that. We're coming to the close of it. But, Lord, we ask, oh, God, <clears throat> for uh, the people that went to fiesta, that they will have a true fiesta. Yes. Yes. And that, that's only because they know you. They encounter you. We ask, oh, God, for a true celebration to come upon the city of San Antonio yes. because of the celebration yes. of knowing you. Yes. We thank you and praise you, O oh God, for doing that. We thank you and praise you, Lord God, for moving by your spirit upon us as a city, yes. upon churches, upon yes. congregations. But Lord God, uh, we will not just be religious. We will be those yes. who have a, a, a personal relationship yes. with you. Yes. And we thank you and we praise you for doing that in the city of San Antonio. We thank you and praise you for causing pastors to preach in a way yes. that brings people to that personal yes. connection with you. A personal connection with you. Not a religious connection, yes. but a personal yes. connection yes. with you. Yes. And to see you as real, to see you as you really are. You are Father, you are Brother, you are Spirit, you are God, you are all of those things in yes. one. And we ask, oh God, that you will show us as ministers, as pastors, as leaders of congregations how to do this, how to lead people in a, in a relationship with you, the living God. We know, oh God, that you've given us the Holy Spirit. He is our comforter. He is the one that leads all us in all of these things. But we ask, oh God, <clears throat> that the anointing will be upon us as the yes. church. Thank you, Jesus. To lead people into a personal relationship yes. with you. And that we will come to understand that that's really what it's all about. It's about a personal relationship with you. Because each and every one of us, each and every one of us needs to be forgiven by you. Yes. Washed and cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Yes. And we thank you, Lord God, that you caused him to shed his blood for that very same purpose. And we thank you, oh God, for doing it in Jesus' name. And we want to thank you for tuning in to I Pray. 
also when your family members come to the Lord, <coughs> message us so that we can hear your testimony here on I Pray. And we believe that as you pray with us, we are shaking heaven and earth, and our prayers are being answered. God bless you.